Hi, today I wanted to talk about lightweight substrates. For many years, probably the most well-known and most used was Wetty Board. But thanks to construction technology, we have many other options today. The thing all these surfaces have in common is a polystyrene core and some type of tile-ready surface. There are other manufacturers. This just happens to be what I have in my studio. The engineering and design composition of these products make them a perfect choice for mosaic artists. Not only are they light, but they're stable in all environments, wet, dry, hot, cold, any climate. They don't warp or expand and contract, causing cracks in your grout joints. As long as you're using the correct adhesives for your application, you'll always have a successful project. The lightweight nature of these substrates make them a perfect choice when you're working with heavy materials like stone and smalty. But preparation needs to be made in hanging before you start, and we'll get to that next. So I like to use these T-nuts on smaller size works, and then I'll move up to the weedy washers because they're a larger diameter if my work is larger and or heavier. All of these can be used in conjunction with the brackets, which are, these are easy hanging brackets. They're also sold as Z brackets or French cleats, and there's lots of vari variations available. So the reason we're using this particular type of nut is because it, it can't pull through the weedy board and the screw has something solid to be threaded into. Now I want to just take a minute to show you how to install a T-nut just using this small piece of hydro block. You can use whatever tools you have handy. In this case I have a awl slash ice pick. Um, this is a nail set and um, here's a Phillips head screwdriver. Like all of these will work. First, I'm just going to mark a little spot so I know where I'm going. And then I need to put it over the table edge so that I don't damage my work surface and force this through the board, creating a hole to the other side. Once that's done, I can put my T-nut in and really force it into the board. Now we'll flip it over Oop. and attach the pitcher hanger. And this really shows in the end why we're using this T-nut because once this is, screw is now threading in to something solid. And you want to keep tightening this until this T-nut really sucks into the surface. And if it doesn't, just give it a few taps. But you have to do this over the edge or over something soft so that you get this nice and flush with the surface of whatever type of board you're using. So now if you look closely, you can see that um, the cement covering on here has cracked and that's okay because it's more important to have it flush, especially if you're working with products like stained glass that are all the same thickness and you want a really flat surface. And then this is our hanging side where we have our D-rings, and now you can just attach your hanging wire. And this is going to be totally secure. French cleats, also known as Z-brackets or easy brackets are a great way to hang heavier works. And I just wanted to give you a little overview of how they work before I attached it to the piece of board. These are available at big box stores and online. 
and they really distribute the weight out of your heavier and or larger works. A couple considerations when mounting the wall bracket is to make sure you have it level and also take into consideration your wall construction and that you're using the proper screws and anchors to attach it to the wall. To install the other half of your French cleat onto your board, I've already marked this out for the center. Uh, you have to make sure that the side, the open side is down so that it can marry to the portion on the wall. And then we can just mark we're, we're going to put our fasteners to. From the face side now, we're gonna attach our T-nuts just like we did for the D-rings. Get those in, flip it over. Make sure our open side is facing down. and put the screws in. And if you have power tools handy, you can do this with your drill maybe. And now it's ready to hang. Now you can see we have it all mounted and it's very simple to hang on the wall. And you can adjust it from side to side and everything's level and really strong. And you can see here how flat these T-nuts are and that they've slightly broken the surface but it makes it really easy to work over and stay flat. For the purpose of demonstration, I just wanted to show you that if my piece was significantly larger or heavier, I would use the uh, weedy washers to install the French cleat, in which case you need to put a little hex nut on the back that does not protrude out farther than the bend of the cleat. There are times when we want to mount a very large entire sheet of weedy board or other lightweight substrates directly onto a surface. In these cases, I install weedy washers and then use the appropriate screws and anchors for the surface I'm bolting to. Once it's all set in place, you can simply attach your tessera over the weedy washers and touch up the grout. I'm often asked how to finish the edges, and we have a complete video on using this AR mesh and thin set. Check out the description for full details. But if you're doing something for inside, it can be as simple as painting out the edges with some acrylic paint. I like to do this um, more at the end of the project usually because that way I can match it to my grout color and it becomes even less noticeable. Another option, if you don't wanna mess around painting the edges or wrapping with AR mesh and thin set, that gives you a really clean look are easy mosaic frames. They're an aluminum frame with a finished edge, lightweight backer board, and once you finish your mosaic, they're ready to hang. They also have holes, especially on the uh, rectangular shapes where you can hang them in the landscape format or portrait. Thanks for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces.